My name is Katie, Katie DeSalle. I am a director over at Frogtown Community Radio Station. If you have not heard of Frogtown Community Radio Station, we are a low power station, which means that we broadcast in a five mile radius of University and Dale Avenue in St. Paul. Our call letters are WFNU, and you can look us up at WFNU.org, where you have a list of all of our programs and all everything you'd ever want to know about the radio station is on WFNU.org. Um, we, the history of the station is that uh, I think about 2016, um, we applied for a uh, license through the FCC where there was um, some openings for low power stations. And basically um, during the Obama administration, Obama opened up the airwaves so that um, neighborhoods who are trying to either connect with uh, more people in the neighborhood, um, um, just neighborhoods that are trying to connect with other people that may not necessarily um, have access to other forms of media. Um, so typically a lot of the stations that did get low power licenses were communities um, that are experiencing poverty, a lot of communities of color, a lot of communities where English is not uh, the first language. So Frogtown uh, fit kind of all of those qualities there and we got a low power license. So uh, we started off as an online only station. And then from there, we did a fundraising campaign to raise enough money to build an antenna. So we became on 94.1 FM, who I think it, I want to say like three years ago now, maybe four. Um, and we have been going strong on 94.1 FM since then. We've had a lot of different um, different changes in the station. We used to be under an organization called Frogtown Neighborhood Association where we started off. And then uh, in March of 2019, myself and two other volunteers at the station formed our own nonprofit. Uh, it's called Frogtown Tuned In to kind of take over the station and um, have the station be housed under Frogtown Tuned In. Um, if anyone out there has ever started a nonprofit, it is, um, a little bit overwhelming at first, but um, once we got everything going and everybody knew their rules, then things seemed quite easy. UFNU is an all volunteer run station. So all of us that work there are all volunteers. And it takes, it takes a lot to run a radio station. I mean, you, you have to have a programming, you have to have you know, all the licenses, all the different uh, technical aspects of it. So um, it really is a family we have here at, at the radio station. Um, the shows we have range from pretty much any type of music you can think of. We have country, metal, rap, hip hop, R&B, gospel, um, techno, and the, and the people who host the shows, all of our DJs, they are typically from Frogtown. If not Frogtown, they are, you know, they, they're from St. Paul or, or in the Twin Cities. So we really, our focus is really trying to have a community radio station, people from the neighborhood, people who care about Frogtown and who want to put out quality programming for the residents in St. Paul and in Frogtown. Besides music programs, we have uh, political talk shows um, on, on different ends of the spectrum uh, politics wise. Um, we have shows about wellness. We have a wonderful news show uh, that Serene hosts, uh, Radical News Radio Hour. We have a couple sports shows. A couple years ago, we started a program that teaches individuals with developmental disabilities, radio and broadcasting skills. And we have uh, a few shows that are hosted by people with autism. Um, and those are fantastic, not just because they're hosted by people with autism, just because they're fantastic shows. Um, and it's really, it's great to hear voices that are not typically heard in mainstream media. So it's, that's one of the things that we really take pride in at the station that stuff you hear on, on WFNU is not something that you're going to hear if you turn on uh, other mainstream radio stations. 
Uh, it is stuff about Frogtown and not just that it's, it's content from voices that are not typically heard. So whether that be, uh, you know, people of color or people with living with disabilities or, or women programmers, it's, it's something that we really are happy that we are able to provide a platform and um, training to individuals who want to have a radio program. And so if anybody out there would like to have a radio program on WFNU, uh, you can email us at stationmanager at WFNU.org and we will help you get started with that. You don't need to have any necessary uh, like a background in radio or anything like that. We help you get started and um, train you on how to run the board and you know how to set up your, your radio program. Yeah, thank you. Uh, you can go to WFNU.org and on our front page there will be a link to our Give to the Max fundraiser. Right now we are asking, um, our goal is for $6,000 and um, we're not quite there yet, but hopefully with your help that we'll be able to get there. It takes uh, it takes money to run a radio station. You have to, you know, we have we pay for rent, we pay for to keep our lights on, all the license and the fees and the equipment. Um, and all of these things are funded by by listeners, um, by donations. And we really appreciate all the support that we we get from listeners because you guys, our our listeners, help keep us literally on air. <laughs> 